Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Mother Elizabeth Papazoglakis, and I serve as Associate Rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Thursday in the week of the 13th Sunday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of His redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of His most holy life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from the book of Job, the first chapter, beginning at the first verse. There was once a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. That man was blameless and upright, one who feared God and turned away from evil. There were born to him seven sons and three daughters. He had 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 donkeys, and very many servants, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. His sons used to go and hold feast in one another's houses in turn, and they would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. And when the feast days had run their course, Job would send and sanctify them, and he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. This is what Job always did. One day, the heavenly beings came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From going to and fro on the earth and from walking up and down on it. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. Then Satan answered the Lord, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not put a fence around him and his house and all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But stretch out your hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will curse you to your face. The Lord said to Satan, Very well, all that he has is in your power, only do not stretch out your hand against him. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. One day, when his sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in the eldest brother's house, a messenger came to Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the donkeys were feeding beside them, and the Sabaeans fell on them and carried them off and killed the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, the fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, The Chaldeans formed three columns, made a raid on the camels and carried them off and killed the servants with the edge of the sword. I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another came and said, your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house, and suddenly a great wind came across the desert, struck the four corners of the house, and it fell on the young people, and they are dead. I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose, tore his robe, shaved his head, and fell on the ground and worshipped. He said, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, 
Job did not sin or charge God with wrongdoing. Here ends the lesson. Our lesson informs us that Job was blameless and upright. This is not to imply that he was perfect, as there has only been one perfect person, and that, of course, is Jesus. We heard in the lesson that one day heavenly beings presented themselves to the Lord. One of these beings is Satan. It is worth noting that in the Masoretic texts, the authoritative Hebrew Bible, the word Satan appears 17 times, but with the article the in front of the word Satan. It reads ha Satan, meaning the accuser. Satan is not a proper name as we often use it. Ha Satan, or the accuser, is a descriptor, not a name. Over time, the idea of Satan developed into the devil, but that was not present at the time of the writing of the book of Job. Although divine beings have great power, they cannot act independently of God. The Lord asked Satan, Where have you come from? To which he replied, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. The Lord then asked Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? There is no one like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who fears God and turns away from evil. Satan's response implies that Job's fear or awe of God is because of his many blessings, but that would change if the Lord removed all that he has. The Lord admonished Satan not to harm Job, but Satan could do whatever he wished with all that Job had. Satan arranged for the death of Job's ten children, capture or death of his oxen, donkeys, sheep, and camels. This begs the question that many of us have. Why do bad things happen to good people? When we see people with a lot of material possession, as Job had, we often say, he or she is blessed, implying that God has given them favor, and that is why they have so much. Unfortunately, we often think that those without much, let alone the essentials of life, are for some reason not blessed. Neither of these assumptions are correct. When Satan took everything from Job except his life, he turned to God in worship. This should be an example to us all. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers, and because in our weakness we can do nothing good without you, give us the help of your grace that in keeping your commandments we may please you both in will and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, Join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Mm -hmm.